Hello and welcome everyone. I hope you all are good and healthy. In this video, we will be talking about resume preparation. The most frequent question or the problem I get on my LinkedIn and on my YouTube community is that people are saying they are not getting interview calls. Okay, that could be because of two reasons. First, either your resume is not getting shortlisted or you are not applying properly so i am going to cover both the problems one by one in this video we will be talking about the resume preparation what are the things which are good for your resume what are the things you should avoid in your resume and in phase two of this video we will be talking about how you should apply for a job so resume preparation is the most crucial thing for any candidate because this starts your job and process okay and i see so many resumes which are very good looking but they do not um, uh, make impact they do not get selected in the in the portal or in the companies uh, they do not get interview calls all right so there are certain things we have to make sure that we do in our resume and there are certain things which we must not have in our resume because they will make our resume fail in any of the softwares okay many of these companies use ats tools to scan resumes all right everything is automated there is not somebody who is going to go through your resume and check if you have all those relevant things or not all these things are automated and um, application tracking system basically tracks your resume checks your resume and tells that with the keywords in the job description it checks if you have those things or not and then selects uh, let's say out of 5000 resume it will select most important most feasible 10 resumes so it is very important that your resume follows certain guidelines so that it gets scanned in that ATS system otherwise you will get automatically rejected without having a chance at the application okay so first thing first I am going to point out a couple of key things about the resume preparation but these are not all the things so you can put other things on the carbon box okay first thing which is very important as per me this is the most important thing is that your resume should not be fancy the focus is on make it making it impactful but it should not be fancy it should not have so many color coding it should not have i do not prefer a resume which has photos and which has a lot of stars highlighting everywhere and i do not like color formatting and most of these automatic tracking systems uh, do not select such kind of resume because they fail such resumes they prefer plain simple doc format resume where you have used just black and white white background and um, uh, black color uh, text formatting okay and we should also focus on the fonts and um, uh, size of it we should not have different different fonts throughout the page use a single font for your resume for headings just highlight the same font with maybe a bit uh, more font size but do not use any different types of colors or, or such thing because your resume will get rejected automatically i personally do not prefer resumes having photos or having a lot of uh, a lot of color formatting because it's not a person who is going to scan your resume so your photo does not make any difference they scan it via the system and for that your photo doesn't matter your skills will matter so focus on making it impactful rather than beautiful doesn't matter all right so it should not be very fancy it will not make any difference in fact it will increase your chances of getting rejected okay second it is very important that we order of a resume in a better manner all right so it should have your name on top your information your phone number your email id email id should be a professional email id do not have uh, you know any any irrelevant words in it make a professional email id all right and then um, uh, maybe your linkedin uh, link as well if you have any personal website or personal blog and all those things you can have below your name all right then one tagline for you having 10 years having five years of experience in salesforce development and administration for various uh, industry just two line max at max two line and then you can have the skills you can have the skills make sure you do not take a lot of space in skills i have seen resumes where they have put 10 15 skills in in a vertical order that is not that is not a good approach 
all the key skills you should write in a single line it should not take more than two lines all right you have to just mention all the necessary and important skills not all these skills only relevant skills you will have to add and then you will have to write the professional summary about you seven eight ten lines of professional summary where you have worked on major things make sure you put major things let's say lighting web component let's say sales cloud service cloud let's say integrations any major thing do not add irrelevant things like you have created custom object you have um, uh, you have created records you have do not add irrelevant things or the things which are not that impactful because that will make your resume long but will not be impactful make the proper use of proper keywords okay that is the third point we have to incorporate the impactful keywords in our resume and that too is scattered over your whole resume so put couple of major keywords in your professional summary and then couple of uh, major keywords in your projects as well make sure you put the projects in a chronological order as well as your education in the chronological order like the latest project latest thing should be at the top followed by previous thing it should not be reverse in order because that will that will look so bad like if you have uh, your first experience at, at top and your last experience at the bottom that will be worst case put it on the top give it a chance to be a uh, highlight next point your resume should not be very lengthy very lengthy resume definitely will not get selected because very lengthy resume will automatically be uh, rejected by the ats system and even in the personal setup also nobody will scan through your resume for three pages they do not have that much time neither the recruiter nor the technical managers they will never check your resume for more than seven eight seconds so in that seven eight seconds you'll have to feed the most relevant information about you and how good you can be for that particular role also do not try to put the irrelevant thing or less impactful thing in the in the beginning of your resume like education is important obviously education is important but if you are an experienced person having education on the top of your professional summary does not make any uh, any sense put it on the bottom if they'll be interested they will scan through your education as well otherwise that is something which they will not be very much bothered unless it is a specific to a particular role so put education in the bottom other is awards and recognition are only impactful and important if they are job specific let's say you are looking for a job for a salesforce developer and you participated in a hackathon where you won an award or let's say you just participated and uh, you learned something then it is a um, it is a relevant uh, achievement so in that case you can put it in the bottom but otherwise if you participated in a cooking competition or if you participated in your college fest doesn't make any difference there is no need unless you do not have anything to put or you are a fresher even if you are a fresher you will have to focus on your projects by which you can showcase that you will be a good fit for this role participating in a college fest fest could be a good achievement for you but not a very good achievement for that particular role we have to focus on making our uh, resume JD specific to check the job description and see what are the different changes you can make on your resume mostly in the professional summary section or uh, and in your project setup section there are tools also which are available online you can just uh, put the JD on the left hand side and your resume on the right hand side they'll tell you what are the key set which are not incorporated and you can incorporate you can also take help of chat GPT for these kind of things but make sure that you give it a try do not just randomly upload your resume without even checking the JD or without even checking if your resume has most of C most of the time these ATS tools checks against the keywords on your resume and then based on the percentage of resume I mean percentage of score obtained in your resume they will highlight or they will shortlist the top scorer resumes so if your resume do not have those keywords then even if you keep on applying you will not get selected because it does not have those keywords 
so we'll have to make sure that we go through jd we make sure that we make those changes in the jd at least 50 60 percent of our skill set or our resume should have those keywords otherwise it is very difficult to get the job and there are so many candidates available in the market so you will have to put some efforts on it all right resume preparation and continuously updating it is a very underrated skill i want you all to focus on that also uh, see i have seen a lot of people put skills three out of five in a in a star format that resume will get rejected because we have to make it plain and simple so that it gets scanned properly now we have three star four star five star and if let's say that ata system is not able to scan that star part then how will your resume get selected keep it simple major skill set just write it down plain simple text apex lwc visual force pages lightning component sales cloud service cloud whatever skills you have there is no need for you to give yourself three out of five star rating there relax okay don't do that just put in it in a plain simple text if you want to highlight it when it comes to your project experience when it comes to your project uh, related uh, experience you have to put the quantifiable numbers like let's say you developed uh, uh, you developed let's say you worked in a support setup where you were working on um, solving the customer cases on uh, technical cases put some quantifiable number that you reduce the bugs from 75% to let's say 30% or let's say you improve the code quality from 30 to 70% if it has some quantifiable number it will help you your resume getting selected because scanners will also see okay this is obviously an improvement so if you can put some quantifiable numbers that will be good in this case certifications will be an added advantage just do not take a lot of time in this certification because we'll have do not take a lot of space in this certification because we'll also have to make our resume short short and precise I have seen so many resumes where most of the candidate put their uh, skills and um, uh, education and everything on the left column on the right see sidebar and on the right we have full see that reduces the the uh, readability as well as it Im increases the risk of getting rejected automatically because it is not in a plain simple format I want you to create a plain boring resume which has just text that's it no no fancy thing most important uh, avoid grammatical errors if you your resume has grammatical errors then your resume will get rejected automatically so make sure once you create your resume you do the uh, grammatical error check for that use chat gpt or any other tool copy paste everything and uh, ask the system to scan for all the grammatical errors mm -hmm. they will do that but make sure you do not have any grammatical error formatting error you are not using italics or any other font than the major generic uh, fonts we use for it uh, do not do not use multiple fonts i think i have covered that earlier as well and see normal google doc format or doc format is a preferred format and is the most widely used format pdf is also okay but sometimes when you provide pdf they'll say okay can you provide it in the doc so doc and pdf formats are the majorly used format but doc is a preferred format over the pdf also when you save your resume it should have a professional uh, name like uh, mohitra party resume uh, Mohit Rapati says for developer resume something like that it should not have my resume updated one my resume updated two that is I mean that could that should also look very unprofessional when you send that to HR as well so make sure you follow all these things there are so many tools available nowadays so you can use those tools to make it better but a personal touch is very important so whatever your tool is giving you make sure you thoroughly check that and then based on that you um, upload your resume on the Nokri port portal or LinkedIn portal. In next video we will be covering how you should apply on Nokri and LinkedIn or how to maximize your chances of getting calls by these job portals. Thank you everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Good day to you all.